We're here at Wicket 2012 in Dubai in the United Arab Emirates and I'm very pleased to be joined by Ambassador Philip Vivier, who is US Coordinator for International Information Policy. Ambassador Vivier, thank you very much indeed for being with us today. Well, th thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. I'd like to start off by asking you, what have your impressions been after day one at Wicket? Well, the impressions I think are, uh, I know are very favorable. Um, uh, our host country has done an excellent job of preparing for the conference. The facilities here are first rate. Uh, but much more importantly, uh, Chairman Al Ghanim of the UAE, who is chairing the conference, uh, has done an excellent job of uh, moving the agenda along, of uh, keeping uh, the uh, conference on track. And so it leaves me with a great deal of optimism that we're going to have a successful conference. And what are the key issues that you're concerned about here? Well, uh, the United States has uh, one overarching issue, uh, which is a concern about anything that might affect Internet governance. Now, we have the assurance of the Secretary General. We have um, uh, other reasons to be confident that there's going to be no direct uh, effort at affecting Internet governance at this conference. Um, but there are some uh, proposals that have come in that have uh, potentially indirect effects on uh, issues that might, uh, might affect the Internet. For example, uh, certain of the jurisdictional arrangements having to do with the international telecommunications regulations uh, could expand the jurisdiction of the ITRs in ways that we would find um, uh, troubling. Uh, we also have uh, some concerns about uh, questions of traffic management, um, uh, questions about uh, whether or not um, there are uh, reasons to affect the architectures that our transmission systems use today. So we want to be very alert about that. And of course, uh, as always with the United States, we're very alert about uh, issues having to do with uh, content, that we're most anxious that there not be anything that would suggest control over content. That said, um, I am optimistic that, in fact, uh, the conference is not going to intrude into areas that would be a source of concern to us. I was going to ask you, what are the key issues that you'll be most hopeful about then? Well, I think that we're, we're obviously most hopeful that the conference will, will end up concluding explicitly or implicitly that the way to deal with the very legitimate questions about uh, extension of broadband, about the availability and affordability of broadband, for example, will deal with these questions at least implicitly uh, in terms of uh, recognizing the advantages of privatized, liberalized approaches to uh, the uh, organization of industry. Uh, that they will um, see uh, the, the obvious advantages of uh, rule of law and uh, security of investment in terms of uh, securing the kinds of investments that we're going to need going forward to assure that we have adequate broadband capacity. And finally, what would a successful wicket look like to you? Well, I think a successful wicket would end up with ITRs that aren't vastly changed from the ones that we know today. They have worked very, very well. From a pragmatic perspective, uh, these are things that we think ought to be preserved and continue to be acted upon. This is, this is a sector that has enjoyed enormous success in the 24 years since the ITRs were last significantly uh, dealt with. And we think that we ought to uh, ha go with a winner. We have a winner. We ought to go with it. Ambassador Philip Vivier, thank you very much indeed for being with us today. Well, thank you for having me.